This week's lesson, we will be creating an infograph or an infographic, sorry. Um, you can create an infographic about basically anything, but for this week's lesson, we're going to create an infographic about yourself. So it's not going to be a whole lot of research or anything like that for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Canva website. Um, you can look it up or you'll, and it'll be available in the classroom and so you can click on it. So you're going to click sign up and log in using your Google email. Uh, mine is automatically signing in um, because I have an account set up with my school email. Okay. So for your infograph, um, infographic, you will be able to do any style or type that you want. Um, I just require that you include yourself um, picture, sorry, your selfie, um, and 10 information, 10 facts about yourself. So you can click on infographic. I'll kind of walk you through how I set mine up, but remember, you'll be able to choose your own. Also, be mindful there are parts of this that are not free. Um, you do have to pay for it, um, and I don't want anybody to do that, so just kind of pay attention to what you are clicking on. So you can see quite a bit of choices here, so pick, choose what you want. And this will be a baseline. So I like this one. When you hover over it, you can also see the free one on it. Let's see if we can find one that has a price. Um, huh, maybe not yet. Okay. So I like the way this is laid out. Um, actually, more of this design in the back. But I don't like the color. So I'm going to go here to this little square. Um, you can pick some of the default colors or you can go to customize and it's just like we've used before in the other programs. Um, I'm going to go with this color. So let's go in. We're going to zoom in down here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the text boxes by clicking on these corners. Uh-oh, I wanted to keep that design. Click on that white dot. So I've gone in, I've taken all the text boxes out and left this. Um, so I wanna find something like this, but let's see if we can find something that is maybe a little different. So we're gonna go to elements. Um, I'm going to look up floral. So you can see there are different ones. Hover over it. If it says pro, you have to pay for it. Um, so kind of look for the crown. If it's the one it doesn't have anything, those are free. See if I can find a floral frame. So I'm looking for floral floral frame simply for my picture of myself. Um, and I like this one. I'm going to move it over here. Oh, I must have accidentally clicked on it twice. And of course, you can rotate it. Okay, so let me go here to photos. Um, and you can pick one for theirs, which we can talk about later. You can also upload your own photos. You can see where I've made an infograph before. Let's see. Okay, 
so I don't actually have one recently uploaded. I'll use the one that I used in the lesson from last week. So I want this position for the frame to go upward. So I'm going to go up so it'll go above my picture like so. I'll add a text box. Of course, they have some kind of in there. Um, let's see if they have one. Oops, I don't have one. And a hang box. And let's change. font so you can see there's a wide variety of fonts that you can kind of pick um and i like a scrolly um kind of text So let's do subheading. I'm going to add my name. So I like to do a different text for the title heading or the header and then a different font for the other ones. Um, so let's try and find one that's close, but is a little different. And of course you can click on some and try it out. All right, I like that one, but I want to change this font now to the apricots. Yes. Okay, so there I've started my um, title about myself. I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, and what we're going to do though now is we're going to add 10 facts about ourselves. So you can add things like shapes and whatnot or elements. For, let's, so let's see. Um, I'll add maybe a paintbrush. Um, Actually, let's see if I can get one with my favorite color already on it. So 
So there are some that are animated, um, but we're going to download it as a picture. So I wouldn't worry too much about getting the fancy animations unless you really want to. Um, put that there. Make it smaller. Uh-oh. And then let's see if we can find a shape. So let's get rid of the paintbrush, move this over. You can also mess with the transparency to make it fade if you need to. So there we go. And actually, let me go ahead and see if I can actually pick my real favorite color. So you're going to basically continue doing that if you want to add other things. Um, so you can go with facts about yourself being like colored. Do you have animals? Um, so I actually have a dog. So let me see if I can get a picture of a dog. Um, let me see if I can find one. It might be close to what my dog looks like. Mm. Okay, my dog actually looks like this, but he's colored like this one. So let's get this one. And I like to alternate. So I just controlled copied that. This is why I 
I have a dog named Jose. So now you're going to go in and add your facts about yourself. So I've gone in and I found photo frames to kind of make it look more like a social media post, which you're welcome to do so if you want to. Um, I've just been working on creating more of an image like the background on this picture is actually found in the photo section as well. So, so I'm getting close to the end of my infograph actually. Um, this is actually the last part. And one thing I wanted to show you real quick was that if you're not liking a certain color within an image, um, be mindful first of everything that is of that color. Um, so let me go here. We're looking at this. And I'm not really liking the color of this girl's shirt. So I'm going to go over here to the palette. And I'm going to double click on that color box. And I'm going to go here and actually pick a different one. So I'm going to go back to my favorite color blue. Um, and I want to change this girl's shirt. So let me see. That would be this color. Okay, there it goes. Um, and let's pick, let's go down here to the default colors. Let's go with this dark green and see. Nope, don't like that one. Oh, that's too close to the background. Yeah, much better. I'm better with that one. So um, I didn't want to change this skin color because it is the same color as her hair as well. Um, and so there I'm actually done with my infograph. So let's zoom back out. And let's look at it. So I have all about me. Um, now I am going to have to go back and change the font in my text boxes simply because, well, let's be honest, they're, uh, it looks a little boring compared to everything else. So this was that one. Luckily for us, when you click on the text box, you don't have to highlight because it will automatically change it up for you. Oh, I gotta change the font size on this one. Go in, make some final adjustments. I actually, I think I'm going to create another color splash of this one. And I'll change this color. Oh, that's too close to the background. There we go. Um, so let's see. We can adjust. It looks a little busy here, so I will eventually go in and readjust some things for that. Make it back in. Now, if you do have something that needs to be very specific, um, like my favorite movie being Howl's Moving Castle, 
um, you can go in and upload a picture of the actual item like I have. Um, I have the actual cover for the video. So there we have my infograph all about me with my 10 facts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just simple little facts, things that I might not know about you. Um, and there you have it. If you finish this early, you may do the other assignment called Word Cloud, which is can be done as an extra credit project. Remember, you do not have to do yours like mine. You're free to choose your color imagery and your 10 facts about yourself, however you would like or whatever you would like to share. Oh, so to upload this picture, though, um, you can go to share, but it's going to open up a lot of other little things. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to click this download button right here. You're going to go to, um, well, I guess it depends, but you can do this as a PDF. And actually, I want it downloaded as a picture. Sorry. So let's upload it as either a PNG or JPEG. Um, we can do PNG since it's a higher quality. Download. You're going to see it pop up down here. Okay, you're going to copy it to your clipboard. You can just press the X on this. Don't worry about this. Go to your digital portfolio. To the slide that it's supposed to go on take off those boxes if you happen to have them go to insert or if you've copied it to your clipboard you should be able to simply paste it if it allows and it's okay if it doesn't fit quite i don't expect it to completely fit especially if you did this large size infograph you're gonna have the empty spaces in between And there we have our infograph.